The Ministry of Health has received irrefutable scientific confirmation of what has long been suspected on the island, given the dramatic increase in COVID-19 numbers during the fifth wave of the pandemic here over the past few weeks. Omicron is here. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sharon Belmar-George made the disclosure in a statement issued Tuesday afternoon following receipt of gene sequencing results from the Caribbean Public Health Agency. The CMO reveals that the evidence indicates that Omicron's prints are indeed all over the spiral in fifth wave. The results indicated 14 new cases of variants of concern. The Omicron variant was confirmed in 13 of the samples sequenced and one case of the Delta variant. Of the 13 cases of Omicron diagnosed, 11 of them are nationals and two are non-nationals. Two are male and 11 are female. The location of the Omicron cases include Castries, Groselet, and Viewfort, the main communities affected during this wave. Based on the epidemiological patterns, it appears that the Omicron variant may be the dominant variant circulating during this wave. This justifies the high rate of transmission within the communities and workplaces. Despite a downward trend in the latest outbreak, the island continues to record COVID-19 cases as public health officials underline the significance of not overwhelming the public health system. Since the commencement of the fifth wave on December 16, 2021 until January 30, 2022, 7,780 cases have been diagnosed with an average of 173 cases per day. Women account for 59% of the cases and 29 COVID-19 deaths have been recorded. 55% is male. Tourists account for 2% of the cases diagnosed for the past seven days and 4.8% of the total cases during the fifth wave. We have 49 cases admitted at the respiratory hospital and six are severely ill. This week, we continue to register cases. The seven-day average approximation indicates a downward trend in the epidemiological curve. We note reductions in most of the public health indicators. The CMO again harped on the importance of public health measures. We continue to appeal to all organizations, public and private sector, to ensure the strengthening of all of the public health protocols. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs will continue providing updates to the public as new information becomes available. Last week, Dr. George explained that despite the high numbers, the incidence of cases in the fifth wave was expected to plateau with word coming Monday that the key metrics were indeed waning. Chua Kim Duplessis, HDS News Force.